Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to fill in these missing values in a table where we have functions and a composition of functions. So we always want to begin with the rightmost column. As you can see, I started some work here. Uh, I wanted to find uh, this missing value here, which is g of f of 2. And so I went ahead and I found f of 2 and I get 1. So f of 2 is 1. So I replaced the f of 2 with 1. And then uh, I went ahead and I found g of 1. And g of 1 is 1. And that's how I got my answer for that. Okay, after you're done with the rightmost column where you have the composition, uh, then you can move on to the other columns. So here I want to find g of 2. And then this is where it maybe gets a little tricky, uh, but I'm going to give you a, a, a nice shortcut uh, to get to your answer. So we want g of 2 um, is what we're looking for here, right? g of 2 is what's missing. Okay, well, another way to write g of 2 because of what we're given here is, is we could say g of 2 is g of f of x. Okay, so now it becomes a matter of when does f equal 2? So f equals 2 when x is 0. So that means I can replace this with f of 0 because f of 0 is equivalent to 2. So now I can go to my rightmost column and I can find g of f of 0. So g of f of 0 is 2. So that's my answer for, for that one. OK, let's look at another example. Again, you want to start by working with the rightmost column. So uh, here we are looking for h of 0. And let me work it here. h of 0 is going to be equal to g of f of 0, so it means Find f of 0 first, f of 0 is 2, so it's going to be g of 2, and then g of 2 is 3, so I get 3 for this one. All right, uh, let's go to the middle column now. So I'm going to use a, a similar tactic uh, from what I just did to find uh, these missing values here. So I want g of 0. Well, another way to write this is to say g of f of x, right? And then it becomes a matter of what f of x produces that 0, right? When does f of x equal 0? Well, f of x equals 0 when x equals 3. So I can write this as g of f of 3. And again, right, keep in mind that this is, this is like saying h of 3. Well, what is h of 3? h of 3 is 1. So then that means this is 1. Okay, let's try uh, g of 3. So g of 3, well, what value, what f of x, when does f of x equal 3? Well, f of x equals 3 here, you could see, right? So I could replace that with uh, f of 4. And then this is like saying h of 4, right? Because the function h, you can see from up here, right? The function h is the composition, right? It's f inside g. Well, what is h of 4? H of, h of 4 is 4, so that means this is 4. All right, now let's do the rightmost column, f. So uh, I want to now find f of 1. Just want to make sure that you could see the screen. F of 1 is, is what? What is f of 1? Well, what do I know? I know that g of f of 1 is what? That's like saying h of 1. And then what is h of 1? h of 1 is 0. So now it becomes a matter of, right? what g of x produces 0, right? When does g produce 0? So that I could, right? Because f of 1 will be, f of 1 will be whatever value of x makes g equal to 0. So then, well, let's see. When does g equal 0? That's at 1, 
So g of 1 equals 0, and then that's equal to f of 1. So then that means this is 1. All right, uh, last one, f of 2. What does that equal? Well, I know that g of f of 2, just using what I'm doing here is I'm using that composition, right? g of f of 2. That's like saying h of 2. And then h of 2 is 2. So then it becomes a matter of, well, g of what equals 2, right? When does g equal 2? Well, g equals 2. g equals 2. See, I looked at the wrong thing. g equals 2 when x equals 4. So, so then that means that this can be, re this is 4. g of 4 equals 2, right? Yeah, it does. g of 4 equals 2, so that means f of 2 equals 4. So... That's my final answer. All right, I hope this helped. Take care.